Hola, dije mamás. It's Frank and Sunny, recording from my cell phone to give you a quick response to my Facebook post on Indigenous Mama's Facebook page and also on my private page that stated, I do not support organizations who culturally appropriate womb massage or indigenous ways. Wanted to share with you guys my response because there were so many overwhelmingly interesting and meaningful responses. There was an international dialogue happening on both pages about this and I didn't have time to respond to everyone one by one. So I bunched up the best of the best. If I forgot you, I'm sorry, just comment below. And so one question was, what about mixed people who practice? And someone named Eme on Facebook really responded well to this question. And she said, if you feel like you're appropriating as a mixed person, then you're appropriating. And if you don't, then you're not. And that's pretty simple. I agree. That's a um, really personal decision, right? The other question is, what about non-white folks practicing? So my pedo or bronca is not with people who are practicing. I said specifically in the Facebook post, appropriating, okay? Appropriating, trademarking, copywriting, indigenous work indigenous healing arts indigenous sciences okay and so someone asked what about if white people practice respectfully and so i would ask you the question what is respect okay white people people of european descendants living on occupied indigenous land have respect okay they can respect they have the ability to respect but i want to ask how do you respect okay do you know respect because of the history the baggage that you're bringing with you the cultural baggage of owning anything you want taking land from indigenous people and benefiting generations later from that so how do you respect? One of the ways that you can respect is by instead of investing and learning from white teachers and other white people in the community who teach this indigenous stuff, shamanic healing or, you know, indigenous this or indigenous that or, you know, and they fit indigenous people into this hodgepodge of shamanism or a hodgepodge of indigenous healing without really knowing the roots, without really understanding what it is behind the worldview of the medicine that you're practicing, without all of that backbone, then it's appropriation. It's appropriation. Okay? So practice respect. And really ask yourself how you're respecting. There's also someone who said that she lives in Europe. And what about practicing on other white people or receiving care from other white people? And someone on Facebook responded, just invest in the people who are the heirs to this work. Chicanas, indígenas. And that woman responded, well, there aren't any here. And I was like, say what? Where do you live? I, I've never gone anywhere and not seen a brown person. But I am in Washington. I'm in uh, Bellingham, Washington. And I saw one brown person. That's one. Besides me. After I looked in the mirror, I guess it was two. So, what my response to that would be is, okay, let's say this theory of only white people joking take your word for it so if there are only white people on your in your country or town then 
and you have an attraction to indigenous healing, then fly in indigenous healers, learn from the source. Do not take an online course from a white person. Do not fly in a white person who learns second or third hand or is just making stuff up. Do not do that. Really learn with integrity, with intention and respect. The other thing is someone asked who's trademarking, who's doing this, who's doing that. And on my Bankatsani's page, my Facebook page, someone said, say it, say her name, say it's Rosita Arvijo and uh, Mayan Abdominal Wound Massage. And there are a couple things that are wrong about this. There are a lot of things, okay? But I'm only going to cover a couple today. So that person on Facebook said, we need to hold people accountable. If we don't hold people accountable, if we don't use our voice against things like this, it's going to continue happening. And at that moment, I agreed. I posted my um, Facebook comment or uh, picture as kind of a generic thing. But yes, we can hone in. We can go into detail about this, okay? About a lot of things. So one thing is Maya Abdominal Womb Massage. What is that? There is no Maya Abdominal Womb Massage. There is none. And the reason is because when you start to homogenize one thing as Mayan, you're creating this type of bubble you're integrating so many people you're including so many people that it takes away from the true essence of what it is okay let's take tamales for example the simplest thing okay tamales from the maya and yucatan are different from the tamales in el salvador or belize okay so that's something simple that's something simple, okay? Imagine a healing art. How would you expect the person who is Mayan in Mexico to practice the same way as a Mayan in South America or Central America? How would you expect them to have this one school, this one, you know, way of doing things. It's, it just doesn't happen. And that in itself, that homogenization is disrespectful to the culture and indigenous people. The other thing is that nobody has techniques of anything indigenous. Okay, so it's like our visual techniques of my abdominal womb massage. They're not hers to begin with. You can't claim them if you want to do something similar, do something similar, but you cannot claim me. You cannot claim indigeneity. You cannot claim something that isn't yours, okay? So we talked about a lot. I hope that we were able to get through a lot of the stuff. I tried to sift through all of the comments. If I left anything out, please comment below and I might have to make a follow-up video because writing takes a lot of time. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you were inspired and also thank you for everyone who commented in support, for all of the people who are preserving indigenous culture, for all of the people who are contributing to our self-empowerment who are supporting indigenous businesses, who are helping not to further destroy indigenous land, and the folks who are really critical about all of the things that they're doing and the footprint they're making here in the Western Hemisphere, Anahuac, Turtle Island, indigenous land. Bye.